Hello Simmers, Seaweed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Simsational. You're watching the All Things Custom and Modsational series. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the Portable Cooling Containers mod created by Lorema. And if you don't know how to install mods, I will show you how to do that at the end of this video. But first, so this mod does exactly what the title says, is it gives you portable cooling containers that you can place into your inventory and then the things won't go bad as quickly as they would normally. So as you can see here, these are all of the containers that are affected. And if we mouse over this milk here, we can see that it's only actually going to last one day. So we're just going to go ahead and drag this milk on over to our milk pail. And then we could go ahead and put it in our inventory and go wherever we want. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to place the milk container back into the lot. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to choose to open it. And as you can see, this milk will actually now last 16 more days. That's it, guys. Up next is how to install the mod. In order to use mods and custom content in your game, you're first going to have to enable them to work by coming up here to the Options menu and choosing Game Options. From here you want to select the other tab and make sure that this Enable Custom Content and Mods and Script Mods Allowed boxes are checked. Be sure to apply your changes and then you're ready to completely exit out of your game and install the mod. Now that we've enabled mods and custom content to work on our game, we're ready to go ahead and install the mod. So you're going to come to this page, which I will link down into the description below, and you are going to scroll on down until you see this download button. From here, we can come down here to the portable cooling container zip file and simply click on that. And my zip file has opened up automatically. So I'm going to come down here now to my Windows Explorer and I'm going to navigate through Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and Mods. Now I'm going to come back to my zip file and I am going to highlight each of these and drag it on over to my Mods folder. And that's it. The mod is all installed and we're ready to play our game. Now that we're back into our game, this little window has popped up that does not usually pop up. All this is is a list of custom content and mods that you've successfully installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the check mark to acknowledge. And that's it. We're ready to play. I hope you enjoyed the video as well as learned something from watching it. And until next time, guys, happy simming and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.